Hello everyone. So like uh, we discussed in the previous uh, video about the window sliding technique. So like in the previous video also like I told you like you would be solving a question on uh, geeks or geeks. So uh, the question name is uh, Sabarabit Grimson. Let's first of all let's read about the details of this question. So it goes like uh, given an unsorted array A of size n that contains only non-negative integers. All right. And then we have to find a continuous subarray which adds to a given number s. All right. In case of multiple subarrays, return the subarray which comes first on moving from left to right. All right. Now let's look at this example. It's n is equal to 5, s is equal to 12. Output is 2 is add 4. So what we have to do here is we have to like return the starting index of our uh, of our window and the last index of our window and mind that this is not zero indexing this is uh, one indexing see here it is element one element two element three element four and element five and it is like from element two to element four our uh, sum is equal to 10 12 so it is that means two three seven element two element three element four this uh, equals to seven like 7 plus 3 10 plus 2 12 all right let's and there's another sub array 7 and 5 7 plus 5 12 but we have to return the first sub array which is 2 3 7 okay now let's look at this example it is like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 we have to return the s as 15 it is saying that uh sum of element from first position to fifth position is 15 that means from this till uh, this let's add this 2 plus 3 5 5 plus um, 4 it is uh, 9 9 plus 5 is equal to 14 and first element is which is 15 all right so this is like what we have to do this in this question so you can see that the size of the window is not fixed okay so that means what we have to apply here we have to apply sliding technique okay let's um let's go with this example okay um let me change the numbers a bit so we can have a hang of it let's do this okay now what we have to do we have to make a window and we have to like keep the check of its first element and the last element of the window all right so here is our window like okay um, yeah so first of all this element would be our would be in our window right a window starts from this element obviously so element number is what uh, one okay now our targeted sum is 12 so when is obviously less than 12 so what we are going to do is we are going to expand a window and we are going to have the start element as this so we expanded our window now our last element is this okay now the sum is what 5 plus 1 6 6 is also less than 12 so we'll again expand our window sum becomes what 9 but our last element would be changed to this 9 is still less than 12. Now what we are going to do, we are going to add this element um, 9 plus 7 which is what 16. The last element becomes this. As soon as our array becomes more than a target sum, what we are going to do? We are going to reduce the, we are going to reduce the size from the starting. Okay. That means we are going to remove 1 from here. Okay. Okay. One minute like it would it couldn't be achieved some so let's write it as like this okay yeah so five is removed from our window and uh, starting is changed to one all right so currently our window is 137 with with um starting as one and uh, last element of this window is seven the sum is um, 11 right 11 here okay and 11 is what uh, less than 12 
right now what we are going to do here simply uh, add another expand a window remove and change the last element last here comes here now our sum becomes 13 13 is more than 12 what we are going to do we are going to reduce our window from the starting one is removed from here and one comes here okay and we are starting index from here so it's starting this last and yeah now the sum becomes 12 we come out of the loop we are going to return this part okay so let's um, try and write this thing in the code okay so what do we need first of all we need a start which will contain starting index we'll have a last which will contain our last index and we are going to have um, a flag which will which will be a boolean flag we'll have the sum as uh, zero now what are we going to do while last is less than the last element obviously the our, our loop is going to run now what are the conditions which i told you that one if sum is um less than uh, our targeted sum which is s here right so what will happen here um we are going to add last element and we'll increase the last part okay next thing which i told you is if sum is greater than s then what we are going to do we are going to um, subtract um the starting array like starting element of the array starting element of our window array start all right and then we are going to have start plus plus okay next thing is what if sum is equal to s then what we are going to do we are going to change a flag to one obviously and then we are going to break this thing okay now what will happen is um There can be two cases. If the flag would be zero, that means we didn't find the window, and if the flag is one, we found the window. So if we found the window, that means the flag is equal to one. We have to um, uh, okay. One more thing. See here, like it's uh, we have to find the um, I have to return a vector of uh, of a pair, right? We didn't add the vector here, so. Let's have the vector also here. Okay, yeah, so very all right. Now, if flag is one, what we are going to do? We are going to push back. This I told you in starting videos about uh, vector STL. Okay, so it is so very push back start plus one because it is zero index. And it is sub array dot push back last. Okay. And then we are just simply going to return our sub array. Alright. And there can be another case also that if flag is not equal to one, that means you didn't find the sub array. So what we are going to do here is since you have to return a sub array only. So we'll just add um, minus one, okay, right? And then we are just going to simply return our sub array. That means we're just returning a sub array with minus one in it, which means we didn't find it. See, if no such array is found, return an array consisting only one element that is minus one. All right. So. Okay, let's um, try and run this code. See if it works. See, our output is two four. Expected output is also two four. Let's try and submit this thing. Okay. 
Okay, there's some segmentation fault here. Um, let's see what can be the fault here. Uh, all right. Um, let's see, like segmentation fault is happening here, right? So while last is um, is an I'm going to run a loop, okay. And it is key while sum is less than n, sum is equal to sum plus array last. And we did last plus plus. We are saying while sum is more than s, sum is equal to sum minus array start. What we are going to do, we are going to have start plus plus. Okay. If um, sum is equal to s we are changing a flag to one and we are doing a break if flag is equal is equal to one okay if flag is equal is equal to one we are doing sub i dot push back start plus one sub i dot push back last and we're just simply returning a sub array otherwise what we are going to do here is we are going to have this thing all right so i don't think we have a segmentation fault anywhere here Let's um, try and submit it again. See, ah, okay, all right. See, this might happen with you also, like you will have a segmentation fault in your code. This might be error of your compiler also, so like try and compile the code two or three times. Submit the code two or three times. Or see, in my attempt also this happened, segmentation fault occurred, but then I submitted it again without changing anything, and we got the correct output again. Okay, so, okay, yeah, so let's come back to the question part. So this was all for this code, where we, what we did, let me brief you about it. We started from our first element, and what we did is we started making a window, with having windows first element and last element. And like we are, like if the sum of the window is um, less than the uh, targeted sum, we are increasing the window by increasing the by changing the last element to plus one of it and if some at any time becomes greater than s what we are going to do is we are going to uh, decrease the size of the window by changing the first uh, by changing the starting of it so okay yeah so that was all for this code and um, okay yeah that's it and see you see you later thank you